Hello, Roger Bisbee here from the Skill Builder channel. We've got a little question from Jordan about some damp, and he's had four people in to look at this. He hasn't had the property long, and he said that when he bought it, he had several people in to um, look at it. It wasn't actually present when he had his original survey. The damp wasn't present. Well, it was a very hot summer, wasn't it? So that's hardly surprising, but he's noticed since he's moved in that this damp has appeared here and he's been told various things by various people as you tend to be told with these things and uh, here's another person telling you something Jordan so um, it's not about me let's not just have me telling Jordan what the problem is you tell me all the viewers I mean that's the strength of this thing is that we get loads of different opinions some people think I'm totally wrong about these things so if you do let me know it's all good so I think this is condensation. It's got a classic look of condensation about it, that black mould that's appeared there. Unfortunately, I don't know much about the rest of the house because Jordan has been a little bit mean with his pictures, but it looks to me like there's some kind of composite door. Looks like it, doesn't it? I'm guessing that the rest of the house has got double glazing and there's not a lot of ventilation there and that this is just appearing on this flank wall here i did actually contact him and ask him to send me more than just his couple of pictures because i wanted to see the outside of the house so let's see what he sent me well this is one picture he sent me and this just shows where it is correspondingly where the damp is so straight away we can see that there's a cavity wall here and it's good engineering bricks so there shouldn't be much wrong with those they should be pretty good and even if the rain did get through there it would be in the cavity and it wouldn't necessarily get all the way through if it could sort of drain out once it got down to that lower part there in the footings but you can see that the whole thing has been repointed some of it very very badly some just smudged a bit in there they've used this horrible red dye uh, on the this brick dye which i just think looks awful actually and um, they've smudged it in but they've hardly raked out the old lime mortar that was in there so you can see that they've just smudged it on top and that's bound to fall out and that's bound to allow water to penetrate and get trapped behind those bits of sand and cement pointing that they've put in there and that will make matters worse but i still don't think that's the problem i think that that cavity wall is capable of taking that what he hasn't shown us is the roof. We haven't seen whether there's a good overhang on the roof, but I think that the cavity wall isn't necessarily going to let that moisture in. But you can see this is this is a pretty good structure, really, isn't it? It's good construction. Nothing wrong with that. That's going to last another 100 years easily. What about this horrible bit of the front of the house? I'm guessing that's a back-to-back. -back. That's the back of the house around there, his little backyard. And this is the front of the house, which he doesn't want to show us. But it looks to me like somebody's done a rendering job on it of some sort or another. They've put the render down the edge there. You can see where it's cracked away. And if we go back to the previous picture, we can see that he's got some kind of garden wall here. And that, that garden wall is, I'm assuming all this, because as I say, we're working blind without, you know, if you're going to send pictures, you're going to send video and send loads in. I don't mind, I'll bin them if we don't need them, but at least we can see everything then, because sometimes the answer is just off the picture that you've sent. So here we look at this and we can see that that wall has gone up all the way along there and that there could be some moisture transmitting from the wall this garden wall here in fact there is some because you can see it's just caused the problem here but it's not significant up there so i don't think that again i don't think that's the cause of the problem because that cavity wall will go all the way around so even that is only just causing a little bit of localized problem i don't see a damp proof course in here the damp proof course you would normally see around about the air brick usually say just there along there but i can't see anything at all in the way of a damp proof course so we'll assume it hasn't got one we'll assume that those engineering bricks are doing a great job anyway i think if you get some ventilation in there jordan you could solve the problems get yourself a dehumidifier that looks to me like classic bit of damp you've got double glazing in there you've got the whole place sealed up you've begun to warm it up now you begin to heat it get rid of any residual moisture there 
and of course you're creating moisture when you're cooking bathing breathing all those sort of things not suggesting you stop breathing jordan that's uh what i think what do you think viewers what's your take on that little problem they've had four people in giving them four different stories now they've got five let's make it a hundred i'm roger bisbee come back and see this soon if you've got questions send them in we've got a vast army of people just waiting can't wait to answer your questions isn't that nice isn't that nice